Let's see how we look at simultaneous linear and quadratic equations. So in such equations, one is linear, the other is quadratic. So how can we solve such problem? I have one here, which say 2x minus 5y is equal to 1. Let's call it equation 1. And equation 2, 4x squared plus 25y squared equal to 41. Let's call it equation 2. Now, to solve a question like this, well, first of all, make one of the unknown variables in the linear uh, part of the equation, we'll make one of the unknown variables the subject of the equation. So in this case, let's make S a subject to so form equation 1. 2x is equal to moving negative 5 to this or that, I will be positive 5. I have 1 plus 5y. I'm dividing both sides by 2 so that x now becomes 1 plus 5y over 2. Let's call it equation 3. And we're going to substitute this equation 3 in equation 2. Anywhere we see x in equation 2, we replace it with it. We substitute equation 3 in equation 2. So that I have 4 times 1 plus 5y over 2 square. Then plus 25y square equal to 41. And this 1 plus 5y over 2, I can write it as 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 plus 5y. Then the whole of this is square. In this 1 over 2, 2 is square. The 1 plus 5 is square. This one, this 2 here, this is the same. So I have 1 over 2. This expression and this one are the same. Then plus 25y square equal to 41. If we square this expression here, this is like saying 4 multiplied by 1 over 4 because this 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4. Then 1 plus 5y square will be 1 plus 10y plus 25y square. So how did I get that? Look at what I did. 1 plus 5y square means 1 plus 5y times 1 plus 5y. Which you know 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 5y is 5y. Then 5y times 1 is 5y. 5y times 5y is 525y squared. So that would be become 1. 5y plus 5y is 10y. Plus 25y squared. So this like this. Then plus this 25y squared equal to 41. So when we multiply this by this, this 4 will be gone. So we'll leave with 1 plus 10y plus 24y squared plus another 24 and 25y squared equal to 41. Collecting items, 1 minus 41, I move this to this, I want to form a perfect quadratic right? m plus 10y, 25y plus 24y is 50y squared, equal to 0, 1 minus 41 is minus 40, plus 10y plus 50y squared, equal to 0, if we rearrange this to form a perfect quadratic equation like 50y squared plus 10y minus 40 equal to 0. So with this now we can solve the quadratic equation to get the value of y on 
since 10 can divide through here, let's divide through by 10, by 10, by 10. So I'll have 5y square. 10 divided by 10 is 1 minus 4 equal to 0. This multiply by this minus 20y square. I'll look for two factors of minus 20y squared that are add up to this. That should be 5y and negative 4y. So now that we know the factors, we'll replace this middle term with the factor. So I have 5y squared plus 5y minus 4y minus 4 equal to 0. We group it 2 by 2, we have 5y squared plus 5y minus 4y plus 4y plus 4 rather. y is common here. 5y rather is common here. 5y into y plus 1. So how minus 4 into y plus 1 equal to 0. y plus 1 is a common factor there. Yeah? y plus 1. Here yeah, we we'll do this and this. 5y minus 4 equal to 0. Either y plus 1 is equal to 0 or 5y minus 4 equal to 0. That means y is equal to negative 1 or 5y equal to 4. y equal to negative 1. Divide both sides by 5 here. Yeah? Or y equal to 4 over 5. Now we, that we know the value of y, we can find the value of x. Okay, let's go back. So it's quite a lengthy question. We're solving for x. I'm using the equation 1 in this case. Let me manage this place to do that. So we have two values of y. What are the values again? Negative 1 and 4 over 5. Negative 1 and 4 over 5. For y, negative 1 and 4 over 5. So when y is equal to negative 1, if I put this 2s minus 5 times negative 1, I replace this y with this, equal to then 1. That means 2s minus times minus is plus equal to 1 2s is equal to 1 minus 5 2s is equal to minus 4 divide both sides by 2 s is equal to negative 2 then when y is 5 over 4 I mean 4 over 5 what am I saying 2x minus 5 times 4 over 5 is equal to 1. This 5 will cancel. So 2x minus 4 equal to 1. 2x equal to 1 plus 4. 2x is equal to 5. Divide both sides by 2. S is 5 over 2. That is up for question 1. Well, let's go on to more question. This one is word problem. We have the ages of a parent and a child add up to 39 years. In three years' time, the parent will be four times as old as the child. Find the current ages of the parent and the child. Okay? Let the parent, let the age be x, and let the child be age be y. So the question says the ages of a parent and a child add up to 39. x plus y equal to 39. Let's call that equation 1. In four, no, in three years' time. In three years' time, three years' time, the parent 
phong la here y will be minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a and in this case our a is 1 b is 4 c is negative 192 therefore y is minus 4 plus or minus root 4 square is 16 minus 4 times a is 1 c is negative 192 divided by 2 times 1 which is minus 4 plus or minus root 16 plus so minus times minus is plus and 4 times 192 is 768 768 all over 2 16 plus 768 is 784 so y equal to negative 4 plus or minus 784 all over 2 and square root of 784 is 28 therefore y is equal to minus 4 plus or minus 28 over 2 which is minus 4 plus 28 over 2 or minus 4 minus 28 over 2 minus 4 plus 28 is 24 over 2 or minus 32 over 2 y therefore is square or minus 16 Now let's go and solve for x um, in equation 1 x minus y is equal to 4 we're solving for x using equation 1 equation 1 says x minus y is equal to 4 but we have two values of y which are 12 and minus 16 12 and minus 16 so when y is equal to 12 x minus 12 is equal to 4 which implies x is equal to 4 plus 12 x equal to 16 and when y is equal to minus 16 implies x minus minus 16 is equal to 4 which implies minus times minus is plus x plus 16 equal to 4 x is equal to 4 minus 16 x is equal to minus 12 can you say the length of a rectangular compound is 5 meters more than the width its area is 500 meters square find the width and the length of the compound questions like this are better solved by drawing the shape in question let's try and draw the rectangle rectangular compound the professor said the length of the rectangular compound is 5 meter more than the width so if the width is s that means the length will be s plus 5 since they said the length is 5 meter more than the width and its area is 500 meters so square find the width of width and the length of the compound we know that area of a rectangle is length times width area of a rectangle is equal to length times width the length is x plus 5 the width is x and the area is 500 meters square so if we distribute this x times x is x square x times 5 is 5 x equal to 500 forming a perfect uh, quadratic equation of our minus 500 equal to 0 now that we have 
form now for that equation. Let me clear them and solve them. Then we have one. Let's use formula to make our work faster. S equal to minus B plus or minus root. B square minus 4AC over 2A. Meaning S is equal to B is 5 in this case, so minus 5 plus or minus root. 5 square is 25 minus 4 times what is it? 1. And C is negative 500. All over 2 times 1, which is 2, 2. And negative 5 plus or minus root 25 minus times minus is plus. 4 times 500 is 2000. And 2000 plus 25 is 2025. A square root of that, square root of 2025 will be. 45 so s equal to minus 5 plus or minus 45 over 2 which is minus 5 plus 45 over 2 or minus 5 minus 45 over 2 minus 5 plus 45 is 40 over 2 and minus 5 minus 45 is minus 50 over 2, 40 divided by 2 is 20 or minus 25. Okay, that is the value of x. But we are talking about the length of the compound here. The length of a rectangular compound is 5 meters more than the width. Its area is 500. Find the width and length of the compound. The length of a place cannot be negative. So we look at only the positive value, which is 20, 20. meaning the length. Recall that my triangle was like this. Did I say triangle rectangle rather? I said the width or the length rather is 5 meter more than the width. So if the width is s, the length will be s plus 5. And we just say that since it is the length of a place, it's only the positive value of s, which is 20, that we are going to consider. Meaning, if s is 20, the width, w is 20, the length, l, which is 20, s plus 5, will be 20 plus 5, which is 25. Question 21 says, a student bought some packets of pens. For 2,160 naira. If she had paid 24 naira less for each package, she could have bought three more packets. How many packets did she buy? She now let the number of packets, number of packets, be n. The first statement says the student bought some packets of pen for 2160. Now we don't know the amount of money he spent for each of these pen. We let that amount be S naira. Let the amount spent on each pen the S Naira, let me put Naira there, so that the total that give this N packet to get the price, uh, the price rather is 2,160 Naira, then divided by S Naira to give us the N number of packets. Let's call this equation one then the second part of the statement is if she had paid 24 naira less for each packet she could have bought three more packets 24 naira less for each packet meaning 2160 naira divided by 
instead of x to be x minus 24 because I say it's 10 24 naira left and she could have bought n plus 3 instead instead of n so they say she could have bought three more packets the question then says how many packets did she buy let's call this equation 2 now from equation 1 let's make x the subject of the equation if I want to make S the subject of this equation, of course, S should be, remember Naira, we can see Naira, S should be 2160 divided by N. And from equation 2, let's make X minus 24 the subject first. By doing that, that will be 2160 equal to n plus 3 times x minus 24. So that when I divide both sides by, I want to make this the subject, so I'll divide both sides by n plus 3 and n plus 3. So this can go. That means I'm going to have x minus 24 equal to 2160 over n plus 3 uh, but my x here is 2160 over n so if i replace it here i have 2160 over n minus 24 equal to 2160 over n plus 3 what if you make this Let's call it like term so that I have minus 24 equal to this and this half n. So bring them together 2160 over n minus plus 3 rather minus 2160 over n. That if this one goes here and come and become minus. Now I want to get rid of this minus in front of 24. So I'm going to multiply this term here by minus 1. So that 24 is equal to minus 2160 over n plus 3 plus 2160 over n. Let me rearrange this to give me 24 equal to 2160 over n minus 2160 over n plus 3. LCM of n and n plus 3 is n times n plus 3. So I have n times n plus 3. This divide by this n will be gone. So I'll be left with 2 uh, n plus 3. So I have 2160 times n plus 3 minus. If I divide this by this, I'll be left with only n. So I have what is this? We have a um, minus 2160 times n. So 24 is equal to this. That means 24 is equal to 2160 times this is 2160 n. 2160 times 3 to 480 minus 2160 n all over n times n is n square n times 3 is 3n this and this will be done so cross multiply we have 24 multiplied by n square plus 3n equal to 6480 which is 24n square plus 24 times 3 72 n 72 n equal to 64 80 meaning 24 n square plus 72 n minus 64 80 equal to 0 let's see if all this number can be right through by 24 so we'll reduce it write 24 Okay, we got 64 
18 by 24 okay so this go three times and this one go 270 times so our equation become m square plus 3m minus 270 equal to 0 with this we can factorize this this multiply by this is negative 270 two factors of negative 270 that can add up to the middle term at 18 and 15 look at it 18 times 15 is 270 so since i'm looking for positive um, 3n it will be 18n and negative 15n so we replace this middle term with the factor so that the equation becomes n squared plus 18n minus 15n minus 270 equal to 0 n squared i'm grouping it 2 by 2 minus 15n plus 270 equal to 0 here n is common so n plus 18 minus 15 into n plus 18 equal to 0 n plus 18 is common then n minus 15 equal to 0 either n plus 18 is equal to 0 or n minus 15 is equal to 0 n is equal to minus 18 or 15 remember n is number of packets of uh, zip pen or viral decoding so n cannot be negative we only consider the positive value which is 15 since it is packet of something we are talking about so n is equal to 15 the last one say find the number n such that when 1 over 3 of it 1 over 3 of n is added to 8 the result is the same is the same that is equal to as when 1 over 2 of it is subtracted okay subtracted from 18 that is 18 minus half n which is um if I write this as 1 over 3 n plus 8 over 1 equal to 18 over 1 minus half n LCM of 3 and 2 is 6 multiply each of these term by the LCM 6 times 8 over 1 equal to 6 times 18 over 1 minus 6 times 1 over 2 6 uh, 3 here uh, 1 3 here uh, 2 3 2 times n is 2n plus 6 times 8 48 equal to 6 times 18 and over 8 minus 3 I forgot to put n here, 3 n. Okay, collecting like terms, 2 n plus 3 n equal to 108 minus 48. 5 n equal to 108 minus 48 is 60. n equal to 60 divided by 5, which is 12. So n is 12.